Dr. Anthony Fauci and National Institutes of Health NIH, drew heat Thursday over a document that reveals gain-of-function research was funded at the Wuhan Institute of Virology in Communist China. Fauci had previously denied funding gain-of-function before the Senate in May. The NIH, has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, Fauci claimed. Senator Rand Paul Archie, tweeted, I told you so, doesn't even begin to cover it here, referring to his belief that Fauci lied to the Senate about the funding of gain-of-function research. Mark Meadows, Donald Trump's former chief of staff, tweeted a video of Fauci denying he funded the Wuhan lab's work. That is correct, Fauci replied, when asked by Senator John Kennedy, RLA, if he had not done funded the research. Spencer Brown questioned whether there would be consequences for Fauci lying to the Senate. Brown pointed out the White House previously defended Fauci from being held accountable. No, was Saki's answer in a June press briefing when asked if she could imagine any circumstance in which Biden would fire Fauci. Senator Tom Cotton, RR, suggested Fauci knew all along he funded gain-of-function research at the Wuhan lab. He should be investigated and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, Cotton added. Representative Dan Bishop, RNC, also pointed to the revelation and said, Fauci lied again. Steve Deese called Fauci a craven liar and fiend for misleading to the Senate committee. But to claim, yeah he did the dangerous kind of research that likely created COVID-19, but he didn't create it, is like OJ saying, I knifed a gorgeous blonde and her lover, just not that gorgeous blonde and her lover, Dees said, faulting Fauci for funding coronavirus research. Jennifer Van La tweeted that Fauci and Collins needs to go to jail. This isn't about lying to Congress. This is about everything that happened before 2020, she said. Emily Kopp pointed out Fauci's boss, Francis Collins, announced his retirement before the revelations come to light Wednesday evening. 